Like lions hunting on the African plains, this pact of predatory fish combs the reef for crustaceans, smaller fish, or even a small hay. When visibility is less than perfect, some fish will approach much closer to a diver to get a better look. This goatfish, known as Moanakale, is a local favorite. With its brilliant blue and bright yellow spot, it's hard to mistake. Bruce utilizes the camouflage wetsuit to help blend in. Carefully choosing his shot, it is still difficult to predetermine where the shaft will come to lie. With air to spare, Bruce frees the shaft and heads for the surface. A slow, relaxed ascent is key to any type of spearfishing. Finding a good lookout position between two coral heads, Bruce notices a distant image fast approaching. Through experience, Bruce knows the key to getting a good shot on the Moana Kale. He must be patient. They study each other, watching carefully for a sign of who is going to make the next move. With careful tracking, Bruce takes the shot. Calmly cruising the surface, Bruce pans the surroundings. Another group of Moanakale hunt below. The largest in the group keeps a watchful eye for any signs of danger. Bruce, noticing this special circumstance, takes extreme care not to make any noise during his descent. Using his fins only as rudders to guide his descent, Bruce lines up the shot. A small group of saddleback goatfish, known as kumu, are some of the most sought after fish in Hawaii. Demonstrating his patience, Bruce waits for the perfect moment. The average kumu weighs only about two pounds, but when prepared, it's a meal fit for a king. Fast changing weather conditions can stir the ocean's surface. Not far below, visibility can reach 100 feet or more. Fighting heavy current, Bruce prepares for a dive to head off a group of Moana Kale. Good positioning and timing are important qualities to know to make each dive successful. Becoming anxious or excited may cause the fish to turn and swim away before the shot can be taken. With their attention on lunch, the Moanakale react too late.
Some movement catches Bruce's attention. Up ahead, a parrotfish or uhu swims cautiously. Carefully, Bruce coils up his tagline to make an effortless descent. Dropping motionless, Bruce calmly approaches the uhu from the top. Making minor adjustments in direction, Bruce fires at the uhu. A good shot on an evasive fish. Swimming slowly to conserve energy, Bruce lets his long fins do the work for him. A large green uhu cruises below. Quick to take advantage of this opportunity, Bruce dives. Carefully studying the behavior of the uhu, Bruce can determine how to best approach and make minor adjustments in his direction as he drops. As the distance closes, the uhu senses something is not quite right and becomes nervous. Bruce knows he must fire quickly 